I'm from Phoenix. Together, we're Phil's the Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica, Chica Chica Move Update. Hey, we're actually getting back into the guru by that one. Yep. We used to say weekly Chica Chica. From now until we get the move with everything going on in life, yeah. we're going to put effort into making sure this does start happening weekly. But as last week was a real good example, we didn't. life happens sometimes at this point, and we're not going to say that it's weekly, weekly at this point. Yeah, because moving forward, what we can do is we're going to put weekly chica chica, but we make sure we have a topic. Okay, let's say weekly chica chica with budget how much the cost that we are you know spending in the philippines and then maybe our transition in the philippines the emotions and whatever it's going yeah, there's on been, there's been definitely some emotions so, going on <laughs> yeah so the date is still on it's still october 24th we haven't heard about anything from cal yet so the 24th We've got a ticket, LAX to Cebu. Direct. Yeah, so what's going on right now, depending on what's happening on that day, so we'll just kind of go along the way, along the flow, because what's the, what they're saying is we need to book a hotel while waiting for the COVID test. So we can do that when that time is near. Yeah, because right now things are changing still too, too much, too rapidly. Yeah. One blogger we watch, that uh, yeah, it just uh, about a month ago he booked tickets to go expecting that he could go without his wife and now it's that you can't get in yeah. even with your wife if you don't have your visa if yeah. you don't have even a an American visa. even they're born in the Philippines or a Filipino but if they are, don't, if they're not a dual citizen then no you cannot go back to the Philippines because um, you know yeah, if you're right now, if you're not a citizen or permanent resident, some type, that you can't go in as a tourist. You yeah. They have no visa on arrival anymore. So, and then uh, we're planning to get our COVID test here before we go to the Philippines to see. At, at this point, we're kind of expecting around mid October. Yeah. Sometime between like the first uh, week of October, or first second week of October. Yeah. Do a COVID test, just on the off chance that we've had it, have it, whatever. Yeah. Uh, try to do one of them that, that, that detects the antibodies more than the active infection. Yeah. And that way we'll know whether or not there may be an issue when we get there. Yeah. So, what we did last week? Last week we just didn't do anything. We just kind of hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, it's the past week that we went to uh, Water Wheels the, Falls. We went to Water Wheel Falls with some friends. And that was actually really cool. Uh, yeah. You guys absolutely loved it. It's high school bar. Uh, it was a lot, the, the hiking was a lot more moderate hiking than I'm able to do at this point. It's like really stiff. Uh, but one of the other husbands came along. Yeah. And so him and I just kicked back and had, had a couple beers while they were, while the girls were all hiking up and, and enjoying the waterfalls and such. I've got some clips and I'm trying to get together a video of it right now. Yeah. And hopefully we'll have that up sometime next week. I've got the Walk of Fame done and I will post that on Wednesday of this week. So make sure to pay attention for that one. It's a really cool video. Yeah. Uh, and then last week we, other th um, we just go, I mean, my girlfriends went to the uh, Lutong Bahay restaurant, a Filipino restaurant yeah. that have a lechon. So I got some lechon and hala hala. Yeah, it's pretty. I was good. a happy camper on that one. That's pretty good. And what else do we do? Okay, yesterday my girlfriends we went to Prescott, and you're left alone. Sorry. <laughs> I got left alone all day. <laughs> but by the same token, I got a lot of my desk cleaned up. Uh, went through a lot of paperwork and we the, was able to sort through, scan, and file some of it. Some of it just got trashed. Yeah. Uh, there was a little bit that her and I had to go through. 
Uh, then a couple of those pieces got filed. Most of it got trashed. Yeah. And we found some paperwork that uh, we got to return to a friend of ours uh, from a volunteer s system that we did for a little for a little while. But a lot of it right now is just getting stuff organized, decide, making some decisions. Does it go, stay, or...? Yeah, so right now, as you could see in this room, we have boxes, so we're trying at least... In a day, we're trying to spend one hour or two hours to kind of sort out things. And yeah, honestly, it's there's a lot of emotions involved in packing. Yeah, moving is one of the most stressful things. And moving is just as stressful as like divorce or death. Yeah, and I can tell like, oh my God. When I came here in the U.S. five years ago, I only bring a, two small bags. And I'm like, dang, I cannot, you know, so imagine how much things I accumulated in that five years spent, how much more for you. That's all. Uh, you know. Well, and, and that's part of what's going on and, and part of what is, is actually kind of causing some of the stress. Yeah. Is right now, we're not sure what's going on. Yeah, so. That if... In a normal move, it would be a, a little stressful, but we have an idea what's going on. Yeah, we have an option A and option B and, you know, an option C. We've got C. kind of an option C going So we too, try so. to have a backup plan in every, you know, options, decisions we make because, okay, what if this option A does not work? We have this option B. Looks like it's a little bit all right. Yeah. Okay. Right now, we're flying into Cebu. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry about the interruption. I've got some off-brand batteries, and for whatever reason, the battery meter on the camera doesn't work. So we never know how how much battery we've got left. But they're like half the price of the, the name brand batteries, so we deal with some issues. Normally, I put in a freshly charged one, but in the move, I've got camera gear and gear scattered all over, so. Tomorrow, a friend of mine and I are going to go through everything, get it sorted and organized again. <laughs> but uh, I believe we left off that we're going to Malai Balai yeah. eventually. That's where we plan on settling. But right now, we've got the motorcycle in, in Sabunga. And we do have some boxes and such in Sabunga we would like to get, but don't need to. Yeah. And because right now, literally, we'd have to go through... A two to three day quarantine minimum in Cebu, Cebu yeah. at the airport. Mm -hmm. Potentially a 14 day quarantine somewhere in Sabona, possibly at the, the basketball court or something like that because they don't have any yeah. any kind of hotels or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, pick up stuff, try to make arrangements to go back to Cebu with a bike and whatever stealth stuff get a ferry going to CDO, potentially have to do another 14-day quarantine in CDO to go to Malai Balai and do a 14-day quarantine. Yeah. So we just don't know what's going on right now. And some of this is improving, some of it in areas is, is deteriorating. And so we just don't know. And a lot of this stuff is gonna have to be planned, you know, just short notice you know, firming up the plans and just kind of what's going on because at this point we're both tossing around the idea if we've got to do all that, we may just go straight to Malai Balai and bypass the Bulga yeah. and go when it's a little bit easier to get to and from. Yeah. Because even Mama and Papa, that even if they do get to Malai Balai, they're still going to want to come back and get, take care of some other stuff and get some things. So. Yeah. Right now, our move is just kind of up in the air. Uh, like I say, my friend and my son are going to be running the place. Matter of fact, this is why we're cleaning out this room right now. Is my son's going to be running uh, this room? Yeah. And the the two of them are going to rent the house when we're gone. Sure. Uh, and he's going to be moving in. The first week of September. Uh, yeah, he's going to start moving in next weekend. This coming weekend. And then do the final, and he needs to be out of his apartment on the 5th or 7th or something like that in September. 
The A needs to be out the first part of September, Monday or Tuesday, first Monday or Tuesday of September. So a lot of things are going on. Uh, we also booked a. Let me see. No, I'm not sure. That somebody's birthday is coming up. In eleven days. <laughs> not that she's accounting or anything. <laughs> I'm counting everything. Okay. <laughs> 60 de 62 days from the day we're traveling or flying. 54 days on my resignation. 11 days on my birthday. 22 days on my driving test. <laughs> I love to count. It's just giving me motivation to do something. Or to be what you're accounting. Huh? Could be what you're an accountant. I guess I like counting. One, <laughs> two, three, four. <laughs> but right now, a, a lot of it's just up in the air. So, yeah. uh, and, and that is a huge cause of stress. And, and that's been some real big stress between between you and I. Yeah. I mean, not tell that, but yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But I'm pretty, I acknowledge it before I just like really hesitant about it, but it's a, it's just a mind, it's a narrow mindset and perspective yeah. in a lot of things. But we make sure to take a break, try to rest and do some things that, that is yeah, fun that, for that's us. That's kind of what we figured out is we'll, we'll go with something, we'll do this for an hour and we'll go just sit, talk, chat, watch a movie. Because it's not effective for us to straight go through things because there is a fire in there, like emotions, like go high out. And so, yeah, we're, the advantage with my son and him running it is a lot of this stuff can stay. Yeah. And that that's exactly what we're doing is, is we finally make peace with that, and especially with what's going on. What fits in two, uh, two check-in bags that's it is what it. we're taking. Yeah. Uh, we've mailed one relic buy box. Yeah. We may do a second. Yeah. But at this point, we're going over and figuring out what's going on first. Yeah, we try, I myself have tried to do a list of the things that, for me personally, I want to take. Yeah, okay, given, of course, clothes and everything, but I try not to overpack because, yeah. of course, I could always buy clothes and everything, whatever, for myself. There is, it's so cheap, but the other stuff that I think it's valuable and it's important, you know? Yeah, that's one thing I've got to be careful about is I've got to take clothes because I can't get clothes over there easily. Yeah. Uh, and that's another thing is that I've got to figure out yes. how much clothes and what I'm going to need. But again, that that's the advantage of having... Uh, uh, my friend and son here is that they could, you know, mail stuff to us if absolutely needed, but it's going to be horribly expensive to mail it. Yeah. Or extremely long if they buy like buying box. Yeah, we try to be like really, no, okay, we're minimalistic, like try to sort out things up and not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's what we've been doing for yeah. like the past six months. Okay, we've been planning this pool for a long time, to be honest. It's like the day we met, the day we start, we get married until, <laughs> until today, right? Yeah, and, and it's just taken a little bit more and more firmness, you know. And, and I will say it's like one step at a time. Yeah, because when we first got together, the move date was actually next year. 2021. Because that was when I was going to uh, be able to finally retire. And... Oh, and God had other plans on that one, but uh, and I, I got to retire a little bit earlier and uh, do something a little bit more advantageous way, I guess. Yeah. But less advantageous in some ways too. So. That's basically it, right? And yeah, that's kind of caught us up to this point, and we're starting to repeat information. So. So we try to. The most important thing that we learn is we try to do one step at a time. And that's what we're doing right now, just you know, figuring out you know, our main goal right now is to get this room empty. And try to simplify a lot of things and what is easy for <laughs> us, you know. We try to do 
uh, working smart, not working hard. Yes. Feel so much yes, stress. Yes, something that I that I made sure to teach you quickly. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> I'm a fat old guy. I need to work smart. My hard days were many years ago. Yeah, I have a lot of stories of not working smart, so eventually. But I'd say that's it up until this point. You. Yeah, that's it. So see you next time. Please don't forget to like, comment, comment and, and subscribe. subscribe. Mabuhai. Good job.